Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite pieces of tech, the Osmo Pocket. This is a 4K camera that fits in your pocket. I absolutely love it. So grab a drink, sit back, and let me show you why I absolutely love the Osmo Pocket. Okay, let me show you what comes in the box. As you can see, not a lot of room for stuff in here. You get the real basic stuff with it. You get your power cable so you can recharge. You get a little case that comes with it. The case does have a little slot in the bottom so you can recharge while it's in the case. And you can also be using the camera while you're recharging. One of the things I like with the Osmo Pocket. Not a big fan of the case because of the open back on it. It can allow dirt to get in and accumulate in there, so I'm not a big fan of it. I did pick up a third party case, which I will show you later. And of course, you get your camera. And look how tiny this is. Like the name says, Osmo Pocket, fit right in your pocket. Best camera you have is the camera that you have with you. This one I have with me most of the time. It's easy to carry around versus taking a DSLR around that's big and got to change lenses. This one is very, very handy and the image quality in my opinion is phenomenal, especially out of something this size. Now it's fairly simplistic to use. As you see, there's not a lot of controls on it. There's two buttons on the front. You have your record button and you have your power button. Now the power button also works as a function button. When you press the button once, It'll switch the camera between photo and video mode. Now in photo mode, it'll take a 12 megapic image, which is pretty cool. And click it again, it'll go into video mode. Now you can shoot 4K up to 60 frames a second with this, which is really good. If you double tap the power function button, if the gimbal head gets out of alignment, it'll recenter the head, which is really handy to do. And if you triple tap it, the head will rotate completely around, so then you can be in selfie mode. Triple tap again, re-rotates it back out. So let me just show you how the head comes on and aligns itself. That is really cool. And that's how it rotates into selfie mode. There is a couple of ways to switch the camera from selfie mode, the triple tap, or you can slide up on the touch screen because look at that, on the back of this, it actually has a screen on there and that is a full touch screen. You can even view the last video that you just recorded with it. Small mind you, but you can do it. I will show you later how you can connect this to a cell phone so you can see a bigger image and have bigger controls on it if you like. Sometimes I do that. A lot of times I just run with it the way it is. Very, very handy with that touch screen. Now that touch screen, you have access to all the controls. So you have all your gimbal modes, pan follow, your focus modes, uh, object tracking, you can adjust all your exposure. All that can be done through the pro settings on the gim gimbal itself, which is fantastic. I absolutely love just off this little unit, I have the full control to do everything that I need to do. Very cool. The battery life on this, outstanding. It, it lasts quite a long time. On the side, you have a little slot that'll take a micro SD card. I have a 128 gig card in here. It will take up to a 256 gig card. That's quite a bit of storage. And the last time I used it to do some serious shooting, I only used about 90 gig out of the 128. So. Just absolutely loving this. The uh, quality, as I say, is fantastic. So I'm gonna show you some footage that I did with this. Now I will say right here, I am not sponsored by the Osmo Pocket or DJI whatsoever. This is something that I wanted for myself and I'm so glad I purchased it. And I just wanna let you guys know why I love this. And I've already mentioned some of the very cool features that this has. So with this footage, it's all unedited, so you can see what it's like coming straight out of the camera, and same with the audio. I will show you an adapter for the audio, so you do have the ability to upgrade that as well, which is 
very cool and handy to have. So this first footage is basically just a uh, clip of me walking and running with the Osmo Pocket and you can have a look at the footage. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so here's some footage of me walking, uh, ninja walking, look, get as steady as possible. Now normal walking, now running. So that was a walk, a little bit of a ninja walk, and then a run. How's the audio sounding? This is direct right out of the camera. Okay, so you can see that footage was pretty good. Uh, I'm not the most stable, I tend to shake quite a bit, but this is a three axis gimbal, so you still do get a bit of that floaty up and down, but it's not too bad. I was really impressed with that running footage, how stable that is, and you're not getting any of that distortion on the side that you tend to get with the uh, digital. I noticed that quite a bit, but this is good. Nice clean footage, I really like it. Now for vlogging, this is a perfect little camera. It's easy to take with you. And because that head rotates around like I showed you, that works out great. Now, the lens on here is a 26 millimeter f2.0. Now the 26 millimeter is not quite wide enough for vlogging ideally. There is a third party lens that magnetic holds onto the front that gives you a wider angle, but I have noticed a bit of distortion on the ends. As long as you're holding this out far enough, then you get yourself in, and with the screen on the back, you can see where you are within the frame, so you can set yourself up on that. And if your arm's a little short, you can always put it on like a little tripod, like one of the Gorilla Pods, and that'll extend it out a little further for you, and then give you the capability of having the tripod with you. I'll show you one of those later. But for vlogging, I find it works out quite well. Uh, let me have a little look at this clip with you and see what you think. Pay attention to the audio on this. It comes straight from the Osmo Pocket. So let's check this clip out. All right, so now we're trying to vlog. I've got my arm fully extended. You can see uh, I've got myself fully in the frame. I should be in focus. It's on the track mode. Uh, if you don't have your arm fully extended, then you kind of get caught by the fact that the lens isn't quite wide enough to get you in. So let's just have a look around and see how this works walking so as you can see for vlogging it doesn't work out too bad and having that head being able to spin around like that so you can vlog or you can show it out in front while you're walking very handy feature one of the things I love about it, as I say, we talked about the 26 mil lens and how it is a bit, but you see it worked out just fine for me on that. Now the audio, if you notice, there was a bit of wind noise coming across that. It was fairly windy that day and any unprotected mic, you're going to get wind noise across it. It's just a fact of life. I will show you later an adapter and how you can upgrade it and we can deal with that issue later. The camera itself has two microphones. It has one in the front and it has one in the bottom. So you have to be careful when you're holding it that you're not actually blocking one of the microphones. Okay, I've got a little bit of footage here that I wanted to show you where I did a little bit of a spin around while I was on holidays. I was standing in the shade and it was fairly bright around me. So you can see how the camera handles that part of it. But the main thing for this is I want you to have a listen to the audio. I didn't talk through it, I just want you to be able to hear the background noise that it was picking up. There was a big fountain off to the one side and as I do a rotation around, you hear the fountain come in, you can hear people in the background talking. So just listen to the audio as I spin around and check out the video quality because like I say, I'm standing in the shade and it is quite bright in the sun. So you can see the difference between the bright sun and the shade and how the camera handles that. So let's have a look at that piece of footage right now. Ah, uh, the fun things I do on holidays. There you go. But that microphone was fairly sensitive to be able to pick up all that background noise. You could definitely hear the fountain in the background and that, as you can see, was quite a ways away from me. So it was fairly sensitive that for the microphone. Quite different, wasn't quite expecting it to be able to pick up all that background noising like that. And the microphone on the whole is pretty good. Now, you've seen a little bit of the daytime footage how well does a little camera like this handle nighttime? Well, again, while I was on holidays, I did do a bit of videoing and I've got some clips that I can show for some nighttime. 
again, blown away how well this handles the lower light. Yeah, you're going to get some noise, especially in the real dark spots, but on the whole, for a camera this size, this is some impressive footage. So let's have a look at a few nighttime clips in a little montage, and you let me know what you think. Wow, wasn't that nighttime footage amazing? The color, the detail, I was blown away what a little camera with a little sensor could do with night photography. I was not expecting those kind of results from this little camera. Blew me away, I am so happy with this. That's another one of the features that I love is the ability to shoot in lower light and get some really good footage. Now. The other features that this has that I really like is it does motion lapse, time lapse, and hyperlapse. Great little features, all packed in a little package. You can't ask for much better than that. Now, I was going to show all the accessories and everything that I had with the Osmo Pocket, but it's going to start running this video too long. So I'm going to save that for the next video. I'll show you all the accessories that I've purchased to go with the Osmo Pocket. And there's some cool little gadgets and features and it'll be well worth checking out if you're interested in the Osmo Pocket, some of the accessories that you can pick up from DJI and from third party people. There's some good stuff out there. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're aware of when I post new videos. If you have any comments, questions or queries, please leave them in the uh, description down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys to see what you think of the Osmo Pocket. If you have one, I'd like to know what you think about it. What problems do you have? What do you like about it? Just let me know down below. Okay, so until the next time.